this evening this other map um, that may at least be a part of a motion with respect to a, um, accepting or proposing. Um, even in the materials for tonight, it shows that we refer to that map as the tier map submitted by the Balanced Growth Initiative. All of us here on the Planning Commission understand that the Planning Commission, that the Balanced Growth Initiative um, has at least one um, paid representative that has come before the Planning Commission. And during the September 25th meeting, I believe it was, um, Mr. Richard, at that time, there were some uh, criticism leveled towards Mr. Levy. And Mr. Richard, you forcefully, um, I'm paraphrasing here, you basically um, indicated that Mr. Levy's integrity, motives, beliefs, and record, um, at least for that meeting, were above reproach and virtually unquestionable. And during that meeting, it seemed at least that your beliefs about Mr. Levy's reputation and his um, actions, whether it's for BGI or for the county, at least during that meeting, um, trumped the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. So, um, as you know, generally in our rules of practice and procedure, it requires that a uh, member um, disclose ex parte contacts, and I'm not in any way suggesting there's some specific ex parte contacts, but I would like to hear for the record whether you'd be able to um, vote um, on whatever is presented this evening in a, a fair and objective manner on behalf of the county or whether or not Mr. Murphy, Mr. Levy's um, reputation as you so described on September 24th will in any way have an impact on your ability to be objective with regard to this issue. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a, I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking, I'm, I'm concerned. Is that, is that a question? Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I have a comment. You often refer to Mr. Levy as a paid consultant. Most of the people in this room, including staff, are paid. I don't understand the relevance of your continuing to question whether he's a paid consultant. He's a resident of this county. Mr. Bunker is a paid environmentalist. I mean, what's the I, difference? People yeah, are all I, happy. Well, the, 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 the difference that you can meet to I, And I understand that, but I mean, I said, yes. 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 in this room, every congressman and every man in Congress who, 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 who conducts a meeting with uh, a special interest group would be uh, disparaged by your comments. Yes. And, and we, individually, we have our questions or concerns about the yeah, people that sure. come before here, yes, and I'm, I'm entitled to have my concern about that. And I just raised a concern about whether yeah. Mr. Richards could be objective or not. All he has to do is answer the question. Sure. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, wow. I, I'm not sure I clearly understand your, your question. I believe I am objective. So uh, to, to answer your question, I believe clearly I can be objective in any decision I make. I make decisions that are, I believe in the best interest uh, of the people of this county. I've uh, served as people, the people in this county for uh, well over six years uh, on this commission as well as the uh, other commissions, uh, resident for 37 years. And I think, yes, uh, I can, uh, to answer your I think you, I can, you can put your concerns to rest that I can be objective. Now we have different points of view. I mean, that's clearly. Uh, I think I've always made my points of view pretty well, or a matter of public record. So I don't think that's any. I don't think that's any secret. So to answer, I will answer your question uh, as a as a courtesy to you. Um, and uh, yes, I can be objective. Thank you. Are there?